Welcome back. Now we are going to look at how to add a new column to an existing table. So this is for situation where you just want to add a new column to the table that already exists on the database without necessarily using migration commands like rollback or migrate fresh. So once you use these commands, it means now it has to delete everything from that table. So to avoid that, Laravel has a way that you can be able to add a column by creating a new migration file and then specifying which call which table you want to add that column to. So let's see how this is done. So I want to add a new column on this table called quotes and it's already on the database and I want to add it immediately after this column called quotes. So let's create a migration file first. So php artisan make migration And then add, and then I'm going to call this column as title. Add title column to quotes table. Then flag it with table method, and then specify the method that the table that I want to add this uh, column to, which is quotes. Enter. So created migration, let's go to the database and here we have that migration file. Now here we have the app method which now will save this column to the database and then you have the, do the down method. So here we have to specify the column to drop which we are going to use the drop method. So first let's add the column table. This one will be a string, I'll call it title. Then you can also use the column modifier. Let's check from the documentation. So if you look here, you'll see we have these column modifiers. So you can use this modifier called after and then specify the column that you want to place it after which column. So I'm going to place it after quotes or the quote color so after and then the column is quotes then on the down method table and then drop column which is quotes sorry this is not quotes but title so the down method or this the down method is very important because we are using this drop column that is because if you run the rollback migration command this is the this is the operation that will be able to do that so save everything and let's migrate this file. So PHP artisan migrate. So migrated. Let's see from the database. So I'll just refresh, click on this. Or basically refresh and then click on quotes. And here you'll see all the columns we have id quote and then title the one we have just added right now let's see from the structure and here we have that title so everything is working perfectly and i'll see you in the next lecture